Hey guys, welcome to Webstar Press. Boya BYM1 Omnidirectional Lava Layer Condenser Microphone is a clip-on budget microphone by Boya that offers great voice recording capability for smartphones, DSLR, camcorders, audio recorders, PC and laptop. In BYM1, I guess BY stands for Boya. It's not BY. Recently I bought this microphone and here is its review. This is not a paid review or endorsement. Please use your own judgment before purchasing this mic. I will give you sound quality overview at its different gain levels. I will not post process its recording output so that you may have a clear idea on how it sounds like. Right now I am using it and you are listening to this exact Boya BY M1 microphone. I am few inches away from microphone, it's closer to my mouth. In my opinion, it is best to keep clip on microphone as close to mouth as possible and keep gain level low. This is the gain level. So that microphone may not pick up background noise. I have been using Fifine microphones lately and those are also great microphones offering solid voice quality. Boya is popular microphone available from everywhere easily. I bought it because it's a choice by many creators. I am happy with Fifine but I thought to give Boya a go as well. It's one of those budget microphones that everyone can afford. I wanted to see how it sounds like. My first impressions about Boya by M1 was like why it's got a cylinder with a battery. This is kind of a cylinder and it's got a battery cell inside it, this one. And why this cylinder is hanging around in the middle of all of this cable. Then I asked myself, do I need a battery? inside it or not and the answer is yes you need LR44 battery with this microphone and then why there is slider switch this is the slider switch as you can see there are two positions for the slider switch one is for cameras and second is for smartphone for smartphone you need to switch off the microphone slide the on off up to off smartphone off slash smartphone at this position off slash smartphone this is the position for the smartphone at this position the power is shut down in this way and for laptop pc cameras slide the on off up to cameras position this one or turn on this slider switch and move it towards the cameras. This position is for the laptop, for PC, for cameras and camcorders. And these are the settings you need to choose depending upon which source is being used to record audio. It's got way more cable with it. Precisely 6 meter or 20 inches cable so that you can use this mic even when you are far away from this microphone and it's got a pin connector this one and there is no usb although you can plug this device by using a usb to the laptop or pc with the help of a basic audio interface other variants may be available in boya as well but this particular mic with pin connector seems to be popular and rightly so because with pin connector you can use this mic with laptop pc mobile phones and camera a wide variety of different sources can accept the mic hardware in this way overall i like boya by m1 if you have been using usb powered microphone this microphone may feel uncomfortable in beginning but then you will get used to it I am going to tell you another powerful reason that why should you use this particular mic. One major plus is its capability of recording very crisp and sharp voice. It records sufficient bass in the voice recording, but it also uplifts the voice at a satisfactory level. In my own experience, it records a clear voice. 
my voice sounds clear and better with it as compared to other microphones that I have previously tried. Clarity in voice is really prominent factor while considering this mic. When I use other mics, I usually have to uplift the voice and reduce the bass level during editing process. But with Boya, I can comfortably say that I don't need to edit sound much for better quality. I have to take care of only background noise reduction or keep the gain level low and it's good to go. I like Boya mic as a creator. While using Boya mic, keep these settings in mind though. If you are using Boya with the laptop, with PC, with cameras, use this setting, this switch to cameras. And if you are using it with smartphone, use this switch uh, setting to smartphone or precisely off slash smartphone. And also, if you are using any app, some apps may require additional settings like this is the uh, recorder app and if you go to its settings you can see that there is a source selection you should choose front microphone while using Boya with the smartphone and the switch setting should be at the smartphone and here you can see the gain level for my microphone I am using Boya right now and uh, now I will change the gain level and speak so that you may have idea on how much background noise it attracts at different gain levels and how uh, does it sounds. You will also get an idea on how strong it sounds at different gain levels. Let's use 20% gain level. So this is the 20% gain level. I'm using Boya BYM1 omnidirectional condenser microphone and this is how it sounds like at 20% gain level. Let's use 30% gain level. I am using Boya by M1 omnidirectional condenser microphone and this is how it sounds like at 30% gain level. And here is the background noise sounds like at this level. Let's use 40% gain level. I am using Boya BYM1 omnidirectional condenser microphone and this is how it sounds like at 40% gain level. And this is uh, the background noise sounds like at this level. Let's use 50% gain level. I am using Boya BYM1 omnidirectional condenser microphone and this is how it sounds like at 50% gain level and here is the background noise sounds like at this level. Let's use 80% gain level. I am using Boya BYM1 omnidirectional condenser microphone and this is how it sounds like at 80% gain level. And here is the background noise sounds like at this level. Let's use 100% gain level. I am using Boya BYM1 omnidirectional condenser microphone and this is how it sounds like at 100% gain level. And here is the background noise sounds like at this level. You don't need 100% gain level though. You will record a lot of background noise with it. So I have turned back gain level to 50% and it's got an additional setting that you can switch on or off. It's like an extra boost in audio recording gain level. When you turn it on, it records everything and it attracts a lot of background noise as well. If you turn it off, it records only voices that are nearby. You should keep the mic closer to your mouth and keep that setting off. 
but if you clip the mic with the shirt away from the mouth maybe that setting is useful in that case as it will record more audio than in other scenario this setting also adds a little bit reverb in the sound in my experience i have got this additional setting within my microphone settings it's agc this is the custom tab and it's got agc and now i will turn it on let's turn agc on and listen to the voice again and a caution though a voice may increase a lot after i switch this option on let me bring the level to at lower level and then let's turn on the agc as you can see there's a prominent difference in the voice now this setting looks good and may perform great if you want to record even smaller voices and voice tones from a broad area but as a creator i may not use this setting i am happy with its regular sound volume at 50 percent gain level most of the time at least and uh, here if i will increase the gain level and again a caution to ears here it will sound like at a higher gain level as you can see it's a lot so this is how it sounds like at a higher gain level with AGC on I will turn it off now and as you can see now the voice is better okay so overall i like the mic because it records crisp and clear voice for voice recording it's one of the best budget mic out there for creators youtubers and voice over artists let me know how do you find this mic are you using this mic how is your experience I have other videos on mic review and comparison. Go check them out as well. Links are in the description. Even if you are not a YouTuber creator or sound artist, you can still use the budget microphone to enhance sound capture quality during calls, meetings, while uh, using communication apps with friends and family. Having a microphone is a great investment. And when so many budget microphones are available, I think you should get one if you can. So that's it for this video. I share tutorials at this channel. You can subscribe to channel for more updates. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.